What's the deal, Internet? It's your boy, Blasted, and we back at it with another one to talk about mental health, man, and how it's ignored in the black community. Not a lot of people talk about it, and people walk through this life and going through situation demons you would never even know about because some people are just so good at hiding it and keeping it bottled inside until it erupts. 600 Breezy. His girlfriend, Raven K. Jackson, reportedly took her own life and she leaves a very long message to 600 Breezy. To Antonio, I'm just tired, baby. I was dealing with these thoughts before you met me. I was just waiting for the right time. This is my third time writing this for real. It's nobody's fault. I've been tired for a long time and I gave up a long time ago. I just do good job of hiding it. Right now, as I'm writing this, I remember us being happy looking at our videos, imagining how beautiful of a bride I would have been. It's 5 p.m. here. This bridge is actually nice. I wish we would have came here together. Some homeless people sprinkled in, but not too many. I'm thinking about how this will feel, if it will hurt. I used to joke about how recklessly I lived my life before meeting you. Truth be told, I would put myself in dangerous situations before I didn't care about living. Living just always seemed overrated to me. It's one thing to ruin your life, but I had to go and end mine too. Understand this is my choice. This is what I wanted. This is what I've done, wanted for a while. I just don't fit here. I'm sorry. I'm not happy with this world. I just can't fake it anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. It's too much for me. I wish I could have taken it all back. Undo everything so I never even called you. Nothing seemed real. Not my business, not my relationship, not even me. My heart weak from stress and my ovaries hurt. But they keep saying nothing's wrong. I feel like I have bugs on my skin and that won't come off no matter how many times I wash. You were the best thing that happened to me in a long time. We're as distant as we've ever been. I love you with all my heart. Couldn't take ruining us. I'm losing all the people I love. I wanted to leave here knowing I didn't fuck this one relationship up. I wish you were here to send me off like murder did T. But you probably wouldn't be nearly as understanding anyway. And as much as I want you to see my point of view, I didn't want our last conversation to be an argument, so that's why I was so quiet. I realized I really just wanted to hear your voice one last time. You have every right to feel what you feel towards me. I pray to get to love you in a better life. You know, this is a real sad story, man. I don't want to put out reasons why maybe she did this to herself, but, you know, maybe the situation with 600 Breezy of him being a, a famous rapper, seeing all these different females and shit like that, just got to her as she stated that they both became distant with each other, man. And you would never know like love, what love can do to your mentality. When they say love can kill you and love hurts, that shit really is the truth, man. And before you find love, you wanna be at the right mental space because if you're not, it's just gonna go downhill like this, man. But um, condolences to her family and 600 Breezy.